Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about holiday kits. Yes. So a lot of them have been launching already because you know it is September and the holidays are right around the corner. Can we have Halloween first, please? Please? But anyway, these things are coming out really, really fast. And I'm filming this on Friday, anticipating posting it on Sunday. And I already feel like there's going to be a lot of launches happening in that tiny little gap that I'm going to miss. So maybe I can post a couple of these if this is something that interests you. I don't typically do like a will I buy it video because I get very overwhelmed with how many things are coming out. But holiday kits typically have already existing products where you can get a better value for your money. So I do like to do that. So I thought this video would be kind of on brand. So there's a couple things I've seen at Ulta, a couple things I've seen at Sephora. I'll insert screenshots here and we can talk about them. So if that is something you guys would like to see in this video, then keep on watching. Let's go. I'm going to start with Sephora. I'm going to look at my phone a lot because I have everything here on my phone. Okay, the first product here is called the Elfing and Selfing Quench Lip Rescue Duo from Tarte. So I recently used one of these up and it, they are basically lip balms. I use the clear one. I think this is a set of two tinted ones, but I'm pretty sure you're basically getting two for the price of one in this and they're a pretty good lip balm, but for the price that they charge, I feel like it's overcharged. So getting two for the price of one, I feel like it's a really good deal. And these look like nice colors. I assume they're very lightly tinted because it is just basically a balm and they have kind of like a minty sensation too, if you're into that. So I don't think that's a bad deal. The next product here is from Bite Beauty and this is their three piece lip care set, the Agave Lip Mask. I've only used the like roll up one, but I know they've since changed it and made it a vegan formula. So I assume these are all three vegan formulas of the lip treatment. And as somebody who loves a good lip balm, and I love a good lip balm, I thought this looked like a pretty decent deal to get all three of those for $14. I think that sounds fantastic. Okay, the next product here is from the one and only Sol de Janeiro, and this is called the Boom Boom Carnival Celebration Set. And do I love the Boom Boom. And this comes with a full tub of the Boom Boom Cream, which is $40 te technically already, and this whole kit's $59, so you're kind of paying $19 for the rest of it. So you have a Boom Boom Cream, you have the hand cream. I've never tried that. It looks like you have the travel size, I think, of the shower gel, which is fantastic. And it looks like you also get the, the body spray, which smells just as good. So if you are really into that scent, I think that is a great deal for sure. Okay, so this is actually a set I think that they're selling at both Sephora and Ulta. This is from Tarte and this is their Chrome for the Holidays set. It retails for $24 and it has four deluxe sizes of the Chrome paints. Now I have one of the Chrome paints and the Chrome paints alone I think are usually 20, between the 20 and $25 value and I don't know if I'd ever go through a full one of them and this is four colors for the price of one and the formula is just fantastic and I think that is such a good sale getting four of them for $24. The next thing I want to talk about is from Clinique. They have a new um, cheek pop palette and it's called Cool Down. These shades are very unique to my collection. I think it's really pretty. I've heard nothing but good things about the cheek pops. I've never tried them and it's $30 for three which is $10 a blush which is pretty much what you charge what like Maybelline and L'Oreal charge these days. So it's kind of drugstore price right there. Um, here Urban Decay has a two set of the all-nighter spray. If you really like all-nighter, I think it's a $32 spray. This is $42 for two of them. So you're getting like the second one for 10 bucks. If you go through a lot of all-nighter, this might be a really good deal for you. This next set is from Kiehl's. It's $50. It's called the Bright Delights set. It looks very interesting. It has five, it has five products in it. It has the Calendula Toner, Facial Cream, the uh, Avocado Eye Treatment, which I've heard a lot about, the Avocado Hydration Mask, and the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. That's pretty, that kind of interests me a little. Milk Makeup also has this set now that has, it's called their MVP set. This interests me. 
The only reason I'm kind of hesitant is it has the Hydro Grip Primer and I feel like I've heard so many people say that it breaks them out that I'm very hesitant to try it. But in the end, like, if you've been really interested in trying like Milk's Hot and Popular Items, I feel like this is a really good set for that. Buxom, I think they have this at Sephora and Ulta. This is called the Gimme Glitter Mini Plumping Gloss Set. It has five shades of the plumping lip gloss for five to, for $25. One of my favorite lip gloss formulas and getting minis and stuff like that is a great deal because I never go through full sizes of any lip products. Uh, the next set that I'm very interested in is from Ula Hendrickson. This is called the ASAP Age Fighting Set and it is $56 and I've heard really good things about these products. This has the Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream, the Dark Spot Toner, and the Retin Alt Power Serum. I've heard really great things about all three of those products, so that's high on my consideration list for sure. Next is from Laneige, and it's a three pack of their, their balm. I do have one of them. I haven't gotten a chance to try it out yet, but th this like three pack is basically like, I think winds up coming out to like buy two, get one free if you're interested in the berry, pear, and peach scent, of course. If you really like the lip sleeping mask, they do have a Kiss Me at Midnight set, which has one full size. I'm still going through my full size that I bought last year. Like, those last forever. And it comes with two minis for 28. So the full size is regularly $20. So you're paying $4 each for the two minis if you wanna put it into perspective. And also, if you wanna try both of those, they have the Kiss Me Day and Night set, which has the lip balm with a tiny lip mask. I think it's you buy, it comes out to the lip balm you pay for with the mask being free, something like that. So lots of Laneige options for your lips. This one is interesting to me. This is from Capari and this is their Kiss of Cocoa set. I've heard great things about the Capari lip balms, but again, I've never tried them and this comes out to $10 a lip product. So that's not a bad price. I do love Ola Hendrickson. This is their OMG brightening set. This comes with the Banana Bright Face Primer, which I've wanted to try, the Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I've really wanted to try, the Vitamin C Gel Moisturizer, I don't think I've tried that, and the Truth Serum, and I have used the Truth Serum, and I really like that, so the Ulla Hendrickson scents are really calling my name. I've also, heard, so this is called the Discovery Kit from Youth to the People, and I've heard really good things about this brand too, and this is $58, and it has a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, and a mask. So that doesn't seem like a bad deal either. Here from Bare Minerals, I love the Gen Nudes, and this is a mixture of the matte and the shines, and it looks like it's six of six minis for $29. Bare Minerals makes some of the best lip products, I'm telling you, hands down. So this looks really cool. The colors look really pretty. And that's all I have from Sephora. I know, that's all. I have no idea what I'm getting from that. I just thought that those looked really interesting. Now I'll hop over to my Ulta app and I'll tell you what I like here. I definitely felt like Ulta didn't have as many sets. Oh, okay, so they have this one cheek palette from Smashbox that looks interesting. It's $29. It looks like it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and they're all in a baked formula. I've never tried any baked complexion kind of products like that from Smashbox, but the actual palette I feel like looks really pretty, so that's definitely on my radar. I feel like Smashbox doesn't often get on my radar, but that one, put it on my radar if you know what I mean. It Cosmetics is coming back with some of their popular brushes. So one of them is the You're a Star brush, which is very similar to the Love is the Foundation brush, which is also back. Both of them are back. The You're a Star retails for $30, and the Love is the Foundation brush also retails for $30. I feel like they're very similar. I don't know if it's just, if there's really a difference in the two, but just know they are back and they are here. The next set I thought looked interesting is from Buxom, and this is called Goldmine plumping lip set and it comes with a plumping lip liner, a plumping cream, and a plumping lip polish. So like one of each full size for $29. So I thought that looked cool. I've only tried the lip polish, but the cream and the pencils I've heard really good things about. Stila has one of their mini kits available again. I always say the mini kits are where it's at. The products, the glitter and glows dry out so fast and to be able to get three colors for the price of one is always a great deal. They have that available right now. They usually try to mix up what colors they put in their new kits. So if you don't have these three shades, it's a pretty good deal. 
The only other thing I really wanted to point out that I've seen so far is from It Cosmetics. Again, they have uh, special brushes with Ulta, and I thought this one was really interesting because it is $48, so it's not cheap. So this is a, what looks to be a, a foundation brush, but it also comes with an Alex and Ani bracelet. So that's kind of interesting if you are somebody who really likes Alex and Ani bracelets and it cosmetics brushes, this might be right up your alley. I mean, I like both of those things too, so. But yeah, I was trying to keep it as minimal as possible because you know, they get kind of crazy with the holiday sets, but some of these values are pretty good. I mean, I'm very highly thinking about getting some of the skincare sets because skincare is always the most expensive thing to buy. And yeah, I hope this video hasn't become too irrelevant, even though I'm only posting it two days after I film it. If you guys wanna see me post more of these as holiday releases come out, let me know. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.